Let's go. Come on. Watch my wife, man. There's good reason some are now calling it crazy town. Toronto Mayor Rob Ford shoving his way out of his office, defiant and angry, trying to get his wife through a chaotic crush of journalists. Why would you subject your family to this? The backstory to all this, Ford came out swinging first thing Thursday morning, announcing that the fresh allegations of him using cocaine, driving drunk and being with prostitutes are all lies. And he is suing his former staff members. That is outright lies. That is not true. Um, you know what? But it hurts my wife when uh, they're calling a friend of mine a prostitute. Helena is not a prostitute. She's a friend. And it makes me sick how people are saying this. The mayor says he was seeing red at this point and went on in the most vulgar of ways about allegations he wanted to have oral sex with a former staffer. Olivia Gondak, it says that I want to <laughs> Olivia Gondak. I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize for my graphic remarks this morning. And so just hours later, flanked by his wife and his lawyer, he apologized. I have been under tremendous, tremendous stress. The stress is largely of my own making. I have apologized and I have tried to move forward. This has proven to be almost impossible. The revelations Yesterday, of cocaine, escorts, and prostitution has pushed me over the line. And I used unforgivable language. And again, I apologize. Over the line or over the edge? What the is going on? Several times today, Mayor Ford seemed unable to cope with all his personal and political troubles. But is he stepping down? Not a chance. The mayor is doubling down, announcing he and his brother Doug will be hosting a TV show beginning next week. You know what was a real eye-opener today was seeing his wife Renata at her side. This is someone who doesn't enjoy the media. She's rarely at any public events, and that includes any events he's done here as mayor in non-controversial times. She's usually much more concerned about putting their children on a school bus than being here trying to defend her husband with vulgar comments. She didn't make any comments, but she did want to be by her husband's side and unfortunately got up in an incredible media circus here.